You know what's great? Video games. You know what else is great? Wrestling. You know what's fantastic? Wrestling video games. Maybe we'll talk about that over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. The Wrestling Mayhem Show, that's right, it's another show. Brought to you by the fine folks at Sorgatron Media. Go and check it out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You'll love it. I probably promise. Make way for the Herald of Galactus. Actually, it's just our podcast. Welcome to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. Uh, joining us this week is at Sorgatron. You can follow him on Twitter. How I'm you on doing, Twitter. Sword? I'm on the Twitters. Yes, I am. I'm on the TVs. I have the glass. I, it's charging right now. Uh, yes, and all is good in the Sword Land. We got Chachi. At, you can find him at Chachi Says. How's it going, Chachi? Do you have anything? No, uh, namaste? Is, namaste. Is that what that is? Okay. I'm and taking a vow of silence. Oh. What's that, sir? What's that, Chachi? No, I'll just move on. I said I have taken it. a vow of silence. Oh, no, that's not good for podcasting. No, it's going to be your worst podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> and returning this week from the beach, slightly more tanned, it's Riz. You can find him at the Riz. That's two years now. I'm still at the beach in my mind. Mm. And, but, but I do have to say, we are making so much progress right now with our uh, extra life thing. Nice. Yeah. Let's see. And I have reached my goal. How, how have you done, Bobby? I got 15 bucks. Good start. Uh, so. And right. as a team, I can go on. I'm going to check the team score. I think we're at like 148. Nice. Nice. So that's a good, that's a great start. We're at, we're, we need to get 500. We need to pick up the slack for that fallen team member Sorry. that we have. Go check out that's uh, what well, look up uh, insert coin to begin at uh, extra life, right? You have a fallen Correct. team member, yeah. Um, we, we have yeah, one, the one girl that was on our team last year is, is going to be on a different we team, do, so we oh. do have a fourth team member, though. But we do have, yeah, somebody stepped in and, and stepped up to the plate. Julie nice. is going to join our team this year, so we're ready. It can happen. And I, I got a uh, stream uh, capture card thing. I don't know the official term for it, but I'll be streaming my gameplay, hopefully, uh, when I'm playing live. And I may even start a gaming channel. Who knows? Awesome. So, nice. All right. Um, speaking of video games, what have we played this week? Sorg, you go first. Yeah, because mine will be the easiest, uh, because <laughs> I have started with, uh, well, I played Silver Surfer, and that was about it, because it continues to be a pretty crazy week. So, yeah. All right, Riz, what did you play? I uh, I I broke down and purchased something off of the stream sale. Oh. Steam sale. That's okay because I bought Mortal Kombat myself off of Xbox. <laughs> but I did I did get Gary's mod. I've been talking about it for weeks about getting months even about getting Gary's mod mm -hmm. just so I can play Counter Strike. Mm -hmm. um, it's a pretty good game. I give it, you know, thumbs up if you want to play that. It's kind of like uh, Call of Duty ish, mm -hmm. and also I have been playing Deadpool and Battle Block Theater, which I got a Duck Shark. Hmm. Duck Shark. Duck Shark. You know. Duck Moving shark. on. Microwave. I, I haven't done much. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done much in the last few in the last few weeks. You know that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Chachi, what'd you play? Um, I finished my first ever season as a pro on NHL 13. Nice. Um, I won every award that I was eligible for. Um, Did I, you get I, traded yet? No, I actually didn't ask. Um, I, I. So you're. You're still an Islander. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the Islanders because I keep, keep uh, kicking uh, John Tavares out of his uh, first line spot. <laughs> and it's kind of fun because um, I like to laugh at him when I outscore him by 100 points. So, uh, But most of the games, it's uh, me uh, with more goals than both my own team and the other team combined. So I could probably beat them all by myself. Um, but uh, I played that. Nice. I, I downloaded Assassin's and Creed. And I have played Whoa. this week. 
Uh, Avengers Alliance, of course. Oh, you're not done yet? Skype. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Wow. But uh, I, I played... Uh, real. Uh, I downloaded Assassin's Creed 2 uh, from the uh, Free for Gold members, and I started playing that again, so it's fun. Go ahead, Bobby. Sorry about that. I, I couldn't hear you for a second there. I just... It was a momentary lapse of his audio, I guess. But um, I, I played Avengers Alliance, of it's course. It's uh, it's Simpsons favorite. tapped out. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sleeping Dogs. Um, I cleaned out my Xbox hard drive. Um, I played some of the demos I had on there that I hadn't played yet, like um, DMC, Resident Evil Revelations, um, mm -hmm. Epic Mickey 2. I don't know why I had that on there. <laughs> Why not? I played it and it was horrible and I deleted oh, wow. it. So, yeah. I also played Dirt Showdown and I bought a couple things off the Steam sale as well. I bought the RPG Maker, like I said last week, to make games if I can. Um, I got uh, Terraria, Torchlight 2, and uh, SimCity 4 Deluxe, which I had, but I, I wanted it where I, I can't find the disc for it anymore, so I just start over again. That's where Steam so. gets you. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And oh, I did play the challenge this week. Yes, yeah, so Which did was I. Silver oh. Surfer. Yes. Gentlemen, how did you fare with Silver Surfer? I didn't even try. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I, I knew going into it that I would do horrible or get so frustrated that I'd just break something. So uh, the game beat me before I even tried to play it. Wow. Mm. I, I didn't want to punch a hole in my screen, so I didn't <laughs> try it at all. Yeah. And the, the shame of that is... Sorg, I don't know if you had the same feeling I did. You get frustrated with it, but it, it is a fun game. I mean, uh, um, it's it's difficult. Um, just say, well, just say no, Sorg. Well, just say no. Now I and I don't know because I was on my Dreamcast simulator. I don't know if it was just running too fast, but I did take a video of me uh, playing it uh, through my Google Glass uh, today. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> and I was not very good at it. Uh, so you know, I'll get past, past a little bit of the explanation here. Okay, there's Galactus. All right, that's cool. Um, let's get into the game. Okay, you gotta pick your level. Okay, that's cool too. All right. Um, and you get into Fisto. It. Yeah, I did pick Mephisto first, but I wasn't sure which one was Mephisto. But I Mephisto chose wisely, hard. as you'll see here. You got um, it. So you get so, in, and I'm like, so okay, like, here we go, and dead. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. right. <laughs> so, so we'll give it another shot. All right, all right, we got this, we got this, and, and dead. You're dead. <laughs> and you die. You uh, have you, die, you die, you die, you die. You have lasted like 30 video seconds yet. I haven't lasted three <laughs> seconds. This is like riding a bull. <laughs> Um, I, I got to the halfway point in reptiles level. So I, I was like, oh, well, I think there's like some top down levels in this, right? So yeah, I went to those are the worst. Those are actually worse Lords, than the, the and it goes ones. in here. I'm like, all right, let's go. Oh, I got all this room to move around. What? Dead. So the best part of this, died. you can see, like, okay, I get past this one thing. And the thing is, it's not that it's land that you're flying over, because I played damn, like, you know, Dragon Spirit, where you fly all over the place. Mm -hmm. This is, no, the depth perception is so bad. You're actually in a cavern, and apparently you, a giant galactic uh, a being of celestial power, the Silver Surfer, gets knocked out when your surfboard touches the, the side. And the <laughs> thing is, pipes and, towards and the everything. end here, and I, here, I think I'm, I don't, maybe I didn't just, where I just died there, you can barely get your board through. Like, here, I, I'll, I'll just about get through, and the front or the back of my board gets Oh, no! It, it's... <laughs> What are they doing with this game? So I, they, it was just utterly, utterly ridiculous. And I think I said in the video, this game I remember was playable and actually fun when I got to tone down the challenge using Game Genie. Yeah. So the, the thing, the thing, another reason why I think it still holds up the challenge factor, but the music of this game was awesome. Mm -hmm. I love the it soundtrack was. for this game. It, it, it ranks up there with me, or with with Mega Man for me. Mm-hmm. As far as like likability of the soundtrack, I think it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, but, but unfortunately, I, I, I think it holds up. Unfortunately, the gameplay does not. I thought it, I thought it, not, I, had, I had a blast playing it. Oh man, it, it was frustrating. I I'm like, but, oh, Silver Server is Marvel. Mm, nope. So is nope, Super no, Meat Boy, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But that's a different kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, true. So, but our next challenge, wait, 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 gentlemen. Wait. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. 
Oh, oh, were you? Were you? Well, were I was gonna throw out there that the, the, from the chat room, Wheels was playing yeah. Avengers. Oh and, yeah, and WWE sure 13, yeah. um, and Family Feud. Show me potato Feud. salad. Yes. And um, yeah. brother, Sor did you get brother Sorgs too? I did not see his. He's playing um, a few games he got on Steam this week, um, and uh, he he's getting back in the Skyrim. Uh, with Dawn Guard and Hearthfire, and he still needs to get Dragonborn then. So. Awesome. I did not everybody, buy any games from the Steam sale. Everybody but Chachi benefited yeah. from the Steam because sale. Because I yeah. do not buy computer games anymore. Because I do not have a computer that will run computer games anymore. Because if I did, I'd be lost a while. Yep. <laughs> And that's See, I called, never got into WoW. And so that's I, called management of your expectations. Yes. I know it'll happen. I've been there. Let's move on. <laughs> he yeah. has a girlfriend I, now. He would like to keep her. Yes, she will. Uh, <laughs> that would not go over very well if I uh, cancel stuff because I've been playing WoW for 36 hours straight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or if I fall unless, asleep unless on her couch. Unless she with you. A couple of the games together stays together, right? Yeah, she's more into shooting. Yeah, true. Um, I'm trying to talk her into playing Assassin's Creed, but she, she lost That's interest good. for a little bit, and now she's on vacation, so I'm going to make her pick that back up. Assassin's Creed 2 is free right now on Xbox Live. If she, you heard. she has it. So, Oh, she has it already? I think it's two. Maybe it's okay. three. I don't know. She has one of them. But our challenge for next week is another difficult game. We're going to up the difficulty level from Silver Surfer Are if we can. Are you freaking kidding me? Dick Tracy for oh the NES. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I hate you so much for doing this. <laughs> we're gonna I, we're gonna continue with this challenging this? challenges. So um, look for that one and play it. I. All right. No. Now it's now it's time for a little segment we call things you Bobby, should be aware of. Bobby, how do you do this? How is it that you pick the things that I pick? I go to the first drawer and there it is. <laughs> by oh, the wow. way, <laughs> you have it. I have it. Not the only. Oh Bobby picked shitty games. Oh, I, I have do I have it. And so did I when I had a Nintendo. <laughs> so not history. only do I have it in this awesome protective case. Oh, if my. you open up now, I got the. You know, this is from Bandai. I have the instruction booklet. And check out this sweet Dick Tracy poster that came with it. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> nice. That, that awesome. game is worth three times as much because you have the book Everything, and the poster. I'm sure, I'm sure it so, is. Make me an so, offer. Make me an offer because I'm not in it for the game. I got guys. 50 cents. <laughs> now, I put some time into this game. I'll give you 50 cents. I didn't get, I once again, did not get very far. I probably got to the, I, well, I think there's like five cases. Yeah. Um, and did not get very far until I got the Game Genie. Yep. Once again, game genie this was like, game. and then it was like, oh, this is actually kind of fun now, you know. And not because it was easy to beat things, because you could actually play through the game. And Invincibility I'm, code. I'm wondering. Oh, uh, it's kind of shaking in there. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh. Uh -oh. This case uh, I, still have, I still have a Ninja Turtles game that shakes, and, and I can still play it. I mean, so. well, you, you might be okay. You gotta think about it. It's a plastic case. It's so, you know how old, and there's, it's just a little circuit board in there, right? Yeah. So yeah. I mean, that that's that actually if you pick up most of them now, they do that. It's just age, right? Yeah. So, but they, yeah. mostly they it should still work. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. So just so, all right. don't throw it around like a frisbee, <laughs> assholes. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next segment. Oh, so can I say something oh, really go ahead, quick? Go ahead. It, since we're talking about throwing games around as a as frisbees, <sighs> dear assholes on Etsy. Oh no! Stop turning perfectly good Nintendo games into crap that isn't Nintendo games. Oh no! We oh, don't. No. I I don't want a TMNT clock. Maybe I do. Out of a Nintendo cartridge? No, I'm sorry. Well, if it's broke, though. I don't want a Legend of Zelda 160 uh, gig um, external hard drive that Which looks I think like is exactly what I found too. <laughs> that, that Actually, looks... I would, I would like. It that. is that that, <laughs> That's that the is first thing I found. <laughs> that is actually pretty cool. Stop! <laughs> stop ruining the games. Now wait a minute. Now this is from the person who took. Like like NES Max and a Game Boy and a they were broken. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. 
And what, where are these at? You don't know look, if they're broken or not. Look at the condition well, they, of the case. Well, they, they could have polished it up. Yeah, that's you, okay. You can't replace the sticker. Maybe you can. I no. Know. I think there's methods. I think they have that technology in Winnebago, Illinois. There are things called... I didn't know they had internet in Winnebago, Illinois. Yeah. I didn't know there was a Winnebago, Illinois. But my grandparents Let's get in our Winnebago. Winnebagos and go to Winnebago, Illinois. Hmm. It, it's probably just one giant Winnebago. You stop have died it. of dysentery. <laughs> Etsy, stop. Stop it. Oh, God. Move Bad. On. Please Bad move Etsy. On. Please move on. And we're off the rails. Uh, so very off <laughs> okay. the rails. Can we move on to the next segment? I don't know. Hurry up. What's up? All right. This week, uh, a loot crate came out again. Yeah. Dylan, what do you think of it this week? I have my thoughts there up on the uh, the insert coin to begin uh, pa- page, face page thing. Um, <laughs> no, I thought it was good. I, I, I liked Video Game High School when I was on Netflix. Um, I'm pretty cool to have the DVD now, although my second disc is scratched. So I'm trying oh. to see how to resolve that. Uh, Darth Vader headphones are cool, but I finally tried them today. Not cool anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, yeah, uh, also, what's what's worse well. than the Darth Vader ones? Mm. Yoda's po- Yoda's pointy ears. Oh no, that's the one I got. Oh. So uh, either cut his ears off or don't use them. I vote. Hey, I- I probably had the best one of them all because I had C three PO. You 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 did get the best ones of all because he, he's round. Because I, I don't I don't have bleeding ears. <laughs> Chachi, you're reminding me of a funny story. When we were kids, we had a Batman game with pointy ears, and my neighbor's mom cut the ears off of all the Batman figures. <laughs> so was, basically, we ended up playing Space Ghost the game instead of Batman the game. <laughs> Equally as fun. It just reminded me of that when you said cut his ears off. That's awesome. Uh, That's equally as fun. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, there were, it was a good loot crate this month. Uh, I, I thought there were a lot of there was a lot of cool stuff. In it. My favorite item in the loot crate this month is the uh, the video game high school emergency wireless keyboard. Mm-hmm. Um, that that's my. Favorite I thought that item. was cool. Yeah, it, it, it you know as usual, it, it was very uh, uh, smart and fun, and and you got just a nice collection of stuff you normally wouldn't get about yourself, right? My my car smells like it came out of a shower. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> it was giving it, me it, kind of a headache the first couple I days. Could, I could smell it for outside of my car. <laughs> That's how really? strong that. I, was. I'm pretty sure if you read the instructions, all you're supposed to do is cut a hole in the plastic, and no hang it, do that and hang it up. And then as time goes on, you move it down some. It's like those goddamn air freshener pine trees. You're not supposed who, who, to, you're not supposed has, to take them out of the package and hang them on your mirror. I was never aware of that. Or you'll you'll now suffocate you on the, the oh, freshener. And then, you know, size. I put that Sonic up on the mirror, and then we drove around for how long that day to a show and back. <laughs> yeah, and that was. Uh, oh, no wonder I was feeling like shit. Yeah, read the instructions on the back of your air fresheners, boys and girls. <laughs> do not asphyxiate. Do not asphyxiate yourself on Sonic Breeze air freshener. <laughs> it, it will not get you high. And on a nap for, note from the chat room, like take like Tech TKO says, Sorg make a coaster out of the scratch disc and sell it on Etsy. <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, no. That's functional because you can't use it. That's right. This is true. That's right. Yeah. Do we have stories? True. Please tell me we have stories. We have oh no, stories. we're talking about Etsy for the rest well, of the show. Well, there, there's one more. There's one more thing that you should be aware of. Um, there's a new video that was released today of Nico from GTA 4 watching the video reveal of GTA gameplay from GTA 5. Um, it's, it was done by the folks at Yeardley Diamond Films, um, and it's on YouTube if you want to look for it. It's really funny. It's really poignant at one point. Um, Nico's like really sad because of the gameplay and everything. He's just seeing his world's just ending. Yeah, so it, it's really great if you want to check it out. Awesome. Well, we'll tweet that out on uh, and, and put it out on the social media. Yeah. All right, and our news stories for this week. Mm-hmm. Chachi, I think you have one about the NHL making a return, but not the current NHL. Oh, yes. Uh, NHL 94 will be a playable game mode in NHL 14. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and from the looks of it, it has the updated graphics. 
Oh, um, really? It has the updated graphics and all of the normal gameplay except for the fact that it's top down. Nice. Um, the only downside to this that I found is that you can't use it in on online play mode. Yeah. Uh, because EA said, and I quote, they want to encourage the buddy playing time. Mm-hmm. Oh. They want they want to take it back to the sitting side by side on the couch playing the game, which is a good idea because which, we didn't which have kind of internet goes to our back Wii when, discussion from last week. I did, and no, I completely disagree. You can't be pushing online play, yeah, and then release a game mode and be like, ah, but you can't use it online. <laughs> Wait, who's doing this again? EA? Who's doing this? EA, the worst there, company there's of the year. Answer. There's your answer, EA. Who, whose best things were in 1994. That's not true. As long, as long as they don't have ambulances run over people like in John Madden football. <laughs> Their 94. best things were in 1994. Not true. I mean, I, I mean, you got to think, those are the things that you see on those uh, those Game On controllers or the, the loaded with the Madden 94, 96 and everything, you know? I mean, that's the, that's the throwback. That's man. because it costs five bucks to use the license, to get the licenses for it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so, excellent. So that's something to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Um, our next story is that Titanfall... Um, may support Oculus Rift. Nice. We've been talking about uh, Oculus Rift lately on the show. Um, they, uh, I guess, Oculus Rift sent um, demo or like uh, prototypes to their office um, to test it out. Um, and somebody tweeted them and a- asking them um, if we could see Titanfall be used with the Oculus Rift. And they said nothing official yet, but you never know. Yeah. That was right from so- Respawn's Twitter account. Um, and help me because I'm not. Uh, I can't recall uh, if I'm familiar with Titanfall. Is that like a first-person shooter? Titanfall is the um, game that spun off of um, from Infinity Ward. Okay. Um, they're called it- Respawn Studio. Um, it's a first-person shooter with giant mechs. Um, the only downside is about Titanfall that they announced um, last month was it's not going to have a single-player campaign. It's going to be all multiplayer online. Okay, that's cool. Um, no, which cool. which is kind of cool, but if you like that single player experience, it's not going to be there. But you know, <laughs> I I I I, I, uh, I I say see our previous discussion on whether single player is even worthwhile in Call yeah. of Duty. So yeah, like yeah. most most of us didn't I play seem to Call be of the Duty minority on that one. So yeah, exactly. So, I'm waiting for a game called World of Tanks. I am not going to play the <laughs> single player <laughs> campaign mode. For World of Tanks. You don't play <laughs> by yourself in the World of Tanks, Riz. No. It's a world of tanks. There's a world tanks. in the title. Awesome. Is it made of tanks? Yes. Do they awesome, play tanks awesome for the memories? All right, moving on. Please. <laughs> and finally, we have a real Lego game to talk about. Woo! Everybody, um, Lego World of Le- Tanks. Marvel Legos um, <laughs> are coming soon. Chachi, I think you wrote this one. Um, it has well, the whole reason I wrote it is because it had nothing to do with uh, the fact that there's a Marvel Lego game coming because that was an already known fact. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, well, the update was that they released a new trailer for it. Um, the things that are different about this in comparison to all the other Lego games is the size. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. Instead of using regular figs for characters of all sizes, um, they did the right thing and created giant figs for the characters like Hulk and Thor, or not Thor, um, Blob Col- and Thing, Colossus, Rhino, and Thing Colossus. and Colossus and Rhino Juggernaut. and all of those. Yeah, they're all huge. Compared they're all Duplo. To, yeah, in, in comparison <laughs> to the the regular sized uh, precious Marvel figs. Um, and if you haven't read the article, go read the article. It's really funny. I spent a lot of time, uh, making it funny. So I want, I want this game. Yeah, it, is, it does look I, good. better than most Lego games that I've seen. I've, I've said multiple times that the Lego games are like a fad and a, you know, not, they're not going to last long. I want this game. You were wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> I want this game. Holy crap, you were wrong. I might actually I be willing to check wrong. out this Lego game. 
and I'm admitting it. I'm wrong. Well, if book. you haven't checked out DC Heroes, then you're you're missing out just as much. No, I did yeah. play DC Heroes. Is that it, was me. I, I I missed it in the sale. Is it worth skipping like like the first Lego Batman? You don't need to play the okay. Lego. No, Batman. They, they, they're not. They're not in order in any way, shape, or form. They're not connected. Uh, it, it's another. The only reason there's a two after it is because it's the second one. It, it, and it has Batman. It. Yeah, it, it's the second Lego game that has Batman. <laughs> awesome. So that's the only reason there's a two in the title. Cool. All right, well, guys, it's time for our boss battle. Bum, bum, bum. What Finish is the him. most memorable music moment in a game for you? Music moment. Music yes. moment. Yes. Music moment meaning um, a, a song from a game during a boss battle per se. Um, a music moment in a game where like a character just starts singing something like that. Um, it could be anything that relating to music in a game. Mm-hmm. So, um, Riz, I think you have one. I do have one, and I have a clip to play it. Um, if you haven't played Arkham City yet and you want to, cl- and you don't want to be spoiled, close your ears because your ears. I'm about to spoil something for you right Spoiler now. Spoiler alert. Mark, ha- Mark Hamill is awesome. Mark Hamill is awesome as the Joker. And at the end of the game, through the end of the credits, all, th- all the way through, he does a performance of only you, and it is awesome. And it's directed <laughs> towards Batman after he's like I think it's after he did die. In spoiler, spoiled it. Uh, the music you hear is actually superimposed over top of the credits. It's creepy yet awesome. It's creepy time. and awesome at the same time. <laughs> Like Which is perfect awesome. for the Joker. Yes. Just, just listen to how he sings. It. Messed up. The <laughs> oh, Mark Hamill. Mark, Mark Hamill, Hamill is the best. Is the best. Best joke. Better than. Uh, no, no, it's not. He's he's uh, he Fledger. One of the better Jokers out there. Mm-hmm. The, and that proved it. What about you, Bobby? Um, mine actually came from Bioshock Infinite. Um, there's a, there, there's a part where um, you're walking through a an abandoned bar in Colombia, and Booker finds a guitar, and he he picks it up and he starts to play. And Elizabeth asks him to play, uh, "Let the circle be unbroken." And she starts singing, and it's really a, a really awesome scene in a video game. I've never seen any scene like this in a video game before. And it, it was a nice little break from the, the, the intensity of the game. So you can hear it in the background a little bit. Awesome. Yeah, so that's, that's one of my favorite moments. So Chachi, you have one? Um, I have several. Okay. Um, all of the Ocarina pieces from Ocarina of Time. That's a good one. Um, it, it's an awesome I- integration of music into a video game. Um, mm-hmm. the Portal songs at the end of the game. <laughs> I um, forgot about those. <laughs> it definitely, definitely makes the ending amazing. Um, and last but not least, but finishing, uh, the extended encore version of Freebird in Guitar Hero 2. <laughs> <laughs> the one where it asks you like three times if you're sure you want to play the song. Um, I, I, I stayed up until 3 o'clock in the morning Wow! Uh, to finish that song. Because I had been playing Guitar Hero 2 all day and I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm going. I'm like, we're, <laughs> we're, we started this. Let's finish it. And got to Freebird and it's like, are you sure you want to do this song? No. Are you really sure you want to do this song? And that's when Chachi Plays was born. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. awesome. I, um, I'm, sec- sorry. I'm seconding the uh, the portal. It was the one I was yeah, going to talk about. That was, that was a, a really one. good one. Yeah. But if I could talk a little bit about, like, uh, atmospherically, 
Uh, the one of the really cool things I loved about Bioshock, and I haven't kind of went back and finally beat it the last couple levels here recently, just like the the ominous music, you know, where you go through and there's like there's like a record play player going or something, you know, like that was always really cool and kind of helped make that uh, feel a little more realistic, and it was like kind of set the tone in the time period too. So, mm -hmm. um, Le leg kick TKO. I forgot this happened until <laughs> she brought it up. The part in Saints Row the Third. I'm I'm pretty sure none of you play that game, but you should. Um, I almost like bought it during the seam so It was one of the first few missions in the game, and you're taking one of the guys to another spot, and he's playing with the dial until he finds what I got. I forget who who sings what I got. I forget. Sublime. Sublime. Yes. Mm -hmm. And. They just start singing from the beginning of the song to yeah. the end of the song. <laughs> and I didn't want to stop. I, I drove around the, the, the spot where I was supposed to go because I wanted to hear the entire song. <laughs> and it was awesome. Just to hear that, that connection between two characters. Brilliant. So, yeah, thank you. They kick TKO for bringing that up, and I hope and you're buying Saints Row Four as well. President of the United States of America. Also, Brother Sorg said um, the Dragonborn song when you fight a dragon in uh, Skyrim, another great epic, epic, epic boss battle song. So that's awesome. All right, I think that's going to do it for us this week. Um, you can find us, or you can find us on Twitter at InsertCoinTB. Um, you can. Uh, Visit the website at www.insertcointobegin.com. I know I said www, and I shouldn't have. <laughs> um, but you can do that. W -W -W. www. All right, and uh, that'll do it for us this week. Game over, Game over guys. <laughs>